Hi, I'm Joy. If you watch my recent video on my road trip to the Tesla takeover event, you might remember that I entered my car in to be displayed as a custom car at the event for the very first time since my four years of ownership. Now, I don't have wraps. I don't have body kit. I don't have any mods to my car. However, I did have a little bit of customization to my Model 3. I've also added new puddle lights that are more vibrant in color and display. So it looks really great at night. Ever since I did the blingy mods to my car, there have been a couple of incidents when I would be supercharging and there's a knock on my window and someone pulling in next to me would be like, oh my goodness, I love what you've done to your door handles. And it's normally women. Okay, and when I took my car to the takeover event, I've gotten comments from men that says, please don't let my wife see your car. And they're not the first ones to have told me this. So you may have noticed, yeah, my seatbelt. I found these blingy seatbelt pads. Everything's on Amazon. So sometimes, you know, when a seatbelt, you click it and it's cutting into your neck. So this is universal. This will help you to not cut into your neck so much. And then I also found these. I hope you can see. I don't know if you can see. So I also found these. Let me pull it down just a little bit. So these are, um, I forgot what they're called, but I'm going to put everything down in the description. But this is to also help to adjust the seatbelt a little bit because, you know, Tesla doesn't have um, the thing where, you know, it, it moves easily. Um, so sometimes I would pull this just a little bit. And so when I click it in, so this sits right here, and then down here, I can adjust. I don't know if you can see. I can adjust this a little bit. So I found, again, all these on Amazon, and um, I put them in my car for all the four seats minus the middle one in the back, obviously. So this is um, one of the blingy parts <laughs> that I've added since my video back in February. So the ladies, they really love it. It's like the first thing they notice, like, oh my goodness, look at the seatbelt. Then, um, I don't know if I show you guys these, but I found these uh, cup um, pads, cup holder pads that I just put down here so yeah this is blingy too and then I cut pieces off of the blingy sheet and I decided to add a little blingy trim along my center console so yeah just a little bit fun stuff um, I'm not going to, you know, bling out the whole thing. And if you remember, I also added the strip lights. Right now, it's daytime. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but um, you can kind of see the purple color. But yeah, these are strip lights that I installed. I did a video on this as well. Um, so I also had the puddle lights that would be purple as well. I like color purple. So that's what happened. And then now let me show you what I did to my tires. Okay. So I did the same thing. I just cut off pieces of this. Oh, by the way, before I go there, I was looking for a Tesla emblem like the one that I have on the steering wheel and the front and rear trunk for the aero um, cap, actually after the removal of the 18 inch stock aero wheel underneath, which I did a video about, 
I could not find one that would stick on the Tessa logo emblem. So I actually tried. I tried to make one out of this, but it looked so terrible. So I couldn't do it. And so I've been thinking about ways to bling out my tires, my rims a little bit. And I figured out how. I'm not under the sun right now, but I cut these little strips and just decided to stick them onto the spokes of my rims and it looks really cool so it's not like completely crazy looking but it gives you a little bit of that sparkle just like the logo here so this side has more sun so i don't know if you can see how it's sparkling under the sun but it's super shiny and um, it's just really cute it's not crazy like overly done but this is what I decided to do and I really wish somebody would come out with the blingy logo that I can stick on and I also try to kind of make it like a circle but it looks so ugly I just peel them off and once again the wonderful thing about these is that these are all peel and stick so in the event that some of these are messed up or I want to change the colors they come in, in a variety of different colors that you can choose from um, I just peel these off clean it again and then just do it over again with a different color so um, really love this I absolutely love this so ladies here's an idea for you to bling out your tires if you have stock tires like I do so then again this is the rare emblem and then I did a DIY license plate frame again using the bling sheet that I cut and uh, stuck on so I added a little joy mobile using the vinyl letter stickers um, so now when I go put my car on display people know that this is my car and I also got a little um, sticker from Cyber Rodeo Giga Texas the, the event that I went to um, thanks to Elisa who actually made this so yeah I started to customize my car this way and it's just really fun it really got my creative juice flowing as to how I can personalize it without making it look super crazy about the new puddle lights that I've installed I loved the little strip lights and the OEM puddle lights that I changed to the purple color from Abstract Ocean, but they're still kind of dim until I found again on Amazon these uh, lights that car lights actually, and there's an app for it. It's by a brand called Govee. G O V E E. And again, I'm linking everything down below. So they actually have an app and I actually have a couple of other uh, products from them and it works really well, but they have these uh, car lights that you can control e either via the app through Bluetooth or there's actually a button that um, that is connected to all these lights that I've stuck right next to my seatbelt um here base here in the car so um, you can change colors of the lights and it can also detect music and it will have you know kind of a dancing effects so you can change the saturation of um, the lights and you know brightness darkness for me I decided to turn it all the way up because I realized that as I am approaching 50 very soon my eyesight is getting worse and worse at night and yes I wear glasses at night but I found out that having that sort of a bias light um, in the footwell that's brighter helps me to I guess focus or see clear at night I don't know why but that's just me and Again, I'm almost 50 years old, so my eyes are getting worse. Um, and these are super easy to install. So 
I mentioned that there is a button here. I don't know if you can see, but this is where I stuck it. And you can either control it from the app on your phone or you can just, you know, use this. And this is how you turn it on and turn it off. So um, in the evening, I would just turn it on. And then when I get home, I turn it off manually, which is uh, very easy to do. And you can see how bright this is actually. So this is like broad daylight and you can still see. And there's also a pair back in my back seats as well. And let me show you the setup. And super easy, you can do it too. So basically these lights are peel and stick. So I stuck, let me see how I can get underneath here. So I stuck these strip lights down here and just really just 3M peel and stick. And then there's a long cable and I hid them underneath my Tasmanian floor map. And by the way, I highly recommend these. They're super easy to maintain. And um, I apologize if my car is filthy, haven't had a chance to clean it, but I just routed it through here and uh, underneath my seat. Same thing on the passenger side. And then also I stuck these actually underneath in the floor mat this side is a bit hard to see let me see if i can come over to this other side i actually stuck these on the floor mat because the flap underneath the um the seat it does it does not stick to that but it does stick to the tasmanian floor mat so i hit it as far enough as i can while allowing the lights to shine through as well so again everything is really easy to set up and i just routed the cables and i tuck them underneath here and you plug into your 12 volt it's plugged in here so these are the strip lights that go along my center console and then an, another one this one is for these govi lights so as you can see everything is low budget i didn't spend thousands and thousands of dollars customizing my car or modifying my car it keeps the essence of the model 3 so when people look at it it's still the stock car but it's just a little something extra that sparkles with my model 3 and as i mentioned several times i got everything off of amazon everything is super easy to install so ladies get your creative juice flowing and uh, see what you can do to your tesla to make it more yours and uh, men don't blame me Thank you so very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one and God bless you.